Hello, friends. Uh, an idea, a baseball idea. You know, we've been living with this problem of pitching high and tight uh, ever since there's been organized baseball. Uh, you know, a fastball pitcher wants to establish the inside of the plate. Bob Gibson, in a conversation with, I think, Reggie Jackson, said that the inside part of the plate belongs to the pitcher, and he will establish that by throwing inside. But in the last couple of decades, we've had a problem where pitchers hit batters to intimidate them. And I've also seen high and tight pitches that are up near the head. And then, of course, there's the problem of retribution, you know, where the other pitcher is supposed to uh, reciprocate, supposed to punish the other side. Sometimes uh, the pitcher, but if it's the American League and there's uh, the designated hitter, I'm not sure who they go after. But the point is that there's a lot of this going on. There always has been a lot of this going on, and they don't know how to deal with it. You know, the umpires have this, you know, they, a warning system, and then you have to get inside the pitcher's head and decide whether or not he's trying to hurt somebody. I, I suggest a, a possible solution that is not so uh, complicated. If an umpire determines that, a, that an inside pitch that hits the batter is a dangerous pitch, that is to say, if the batter is struck either blatantly uh, in a way that the umpire decides is not in accord with a professional pitcher's basic ability to throw a baseball, or if a pitcher intentionally or unintentionally hits a batter in the head, uh, then the batter should get two bases, not one. So he would go to second as if he had hit a double. And if they apply this, for retributive pitches that are dangerous. They have to be dangerous. We're not talking about clipping somebody. We're talking about plunking somebody, okay, or at all hitting anywhere above the shoulders. If, if, a, if a pitcher hits a batter above the shoulders, automatic double. This might discourage pitchers from even risking going high and tight. High and tight is all right, but at the shoulders. Keep a batter away from the plate, but do not uh, risk injury. It's bad enough that a hitter gets hit uh, in the body by a pitch, and that's why they are built the way they do. They are with padding. Michael Jordan himself said he thought he was going to clean up in baseball because his body fat was so low, and he thought, well, these guys aren't in shape until he realized they are in shape. It's just they have beefy, coated bodies to protect them from all the dings and pings and plunks uh, uh, and collisions of baseball. What do you guys think? Give me your thoughts. I'll reply to anybody who replies.